Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the Ishvalda Heavy Bowgun Solon Reflection. This is my new favorite explosive damage heavy bowgun in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Let me explain why. So, when we take a look at it, let's go to change equipment. Not only does it have a terrific attack value of 450, it also comes with terrific ammo. Right, so the Sticky Ammo 3 has Auto Reload. I find that the Auto Reload is actually not bad on the Sticky Ammo. That's because a lot of Sticky Ammo heavy bow guns, they usually have trouble with magazine capacity, reload speed, recoil, and Auto Reload is actually really decent because you get to strafe with it, and it just, it has, the, the rate of fire is decent compared to what you're gonna end up with the, well, there's Endless Famine, that's the Savage Devil Joe Heavy Bowgun. The Devil Joe Heavy Bowgun and the Zora Magdaros Heavy Bowgun will technically get a faster rate of fire on the sticky ammo. However, what most interests me is the Cluster Bomb ammo, and especially the Wyvern ammo. So on this particular Heavy Bowgun, you're gonna reach, you can see it down there, the slow reload speed on the Wyvern ammo, and that's critical for the reason why I chose this, because you don't have enough Cluster Bombs in reserve anymore after the cluster bomb nerf which means you end up relying more on your wyvern ammo than you used to so now we want a faster reload on the wyvern ammo to be paired with the cluster bombs and again the sticky ammo even though it's slightly slower than than endless famine and the zora magdaros heavy bow gun it's actually still not that bad you'll see it when I, I take it out we're gonna have a little for fun practice run a demonstration and i'll be showing you why i like it all right, so you can see the mods I've gone with. Reload Assist, Close Range, Close Range. Close Range, of course, is for the Wyvern ammo. Uh, shield and Power Barrel. I don't really feel like you have to have the Power Barrel, but, uh, you know, you can experiment with it if you want to change it. You can go with another Close Range up if you prefer that. Let's take a look at the decorations. Okay. So we're wearing three pieces of the Zora Magdaros armor set. This is giving us Artillery Secret. And this is really an important skill, I feel like, because it's increasing the damage of your Wyvern ammo as well as the damage of your sticky ammo. And I feel like the weakness with the sticky ammo right now is it's not doing as much damage as uh, other damage sources. Like, for example, if you're using a gun lance that uses artillery, but it's just going to out damage the sticky ammo. I think that's because Capcom's trying to keep sticky ammo balanced. They're saying, you know, sticky ammo is really good at giving KOs out, so we can't have it be too damaging, right? And you'll notice, of course, the KO decorations are in there too. We got KO level three, it's pretty good. Uh, you'll notice for damage, we have artillery five, we have ammo up three, and we have, uh, you, you can't discount Fortify, Fortify is really nice. And then of course we have Spare Shot. Okay, so those are our main sources of demo, damage. The other thing is with Tool Specialist, this is giving us back the Rocksteady Mantle and the Temporal Mantle sooner. And I really consider those as a, a form of damage as well. This is because uh, basically with the firing speeds of the Cluster Bombs and the Wyvern Ammo is so slow that you're really at risk and the Temporal Mantle really takes that risk off and the Rocksteady Mantle allows you to ignore, you know, becoming flinched or knocked over by the monster. You gotta be careful with that Rocksteady Mantle though. I feel like Capcom's gotten really clever at punishing you. Alright, let's go ahead and pick a monster. We'll do an investigation. Ruiner Gigante, Kieran. I mean, so Kieran, you can shoot him with the Sticky Ammo real well. I think Ruin and Nergigante would be a little more challenging, so he might be a good choice for this demonstration. Bracadios, Narga Kuga. Ooh, I do need an Uragon. We're gonna do Uragon. You know why? Because I actually need an Uragon mantle. <laughs> Get two bursts with one stone, right? I'm gonna work on that mantle and give you guys a demonstration. Let's go ahead and eat a meal. Do -ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. So when we eat a meal for this particular weapon, what we're most interested in is the bombardier skill. All right, and the bombardier skill is made with four ingredients from this bottom row. And we got ooh, two fresh ingredients in the bottom row. One, two, and then we will fill the rest up with, what are we fighting again, Urgon? He deals fire, right? Let's go ahead and finish out these veggies. Okay, there's Bombardier. Now we need two more veggies. We're going for Elemental Resist Large. We have a fair chance. Oh, and it procced. Very nice. Perfect. <laughs> uh, our Fire Resist is 26. Very good. So we're over the 20 threshold, which means now we won't take any tick damage. Right? We won't take the Fire Blight is what I mean. And the Fire Blight causes tick damage. Let's go ahead and depart. I'll have to fast forward in the video here because I don't want you to have to watch this long load screen. All right, and we're here. 
let's go ahead and load up our special ammo. Heavy machine gun. <laughs> Alright, put that on our back. Where's Urgon? Urgon's over here, huh? Now, this is when you would do your buffs. You would do... What would you do? Might pill. Might seed, I mean. You would do... Uh, demon powder. You would do demon drug. Those are all great ways to buff your damage. Do I have those on me? I don't think I have them on me. Say I'm a bad boy. I didn't put them on my item loadout. I'm a little lazy sometimes. I won't lie. He's gonna roar. Let's put on our temporal mantle. Our wyvern snipe is still loaded. He hasn't noticed us or he hasn't cared. And there's a nice shot. He's gonna get mad. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cause a KO real fast on this guy. Try not to activate our temporal if we don't have to. Since he's knocked down, now I'm going to go into the cluster bomb because I know the cluster bombs are going to land. He's got nowhere to go. You can see that spare shot just activated there for me a few times. This is giving me a lot of extra damage with those cluster bombs. Let's go ahead and get a reload going. All the damage has knocked him over. So, Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the damage. <laughs> I had Gajalaka's helping. Perfect. We're getting lots of spare shot procs, so we're dealing lots of good damage. Okay, just get more of these going. All right, he's back up. He's still mad. Well, oh. smacking me with this chin. That's why we have this armor. What's this? Oh, Fulgur Anjanath. All right, so we were going to put him to sleep. Now we don't want to do that because Fulgur Anjanath is here. Fire some more of these. Oops, I didn't mean to shoot that. Whoops. Guess we'll go for his head again. See if we can get a second KO. Wouldn't that be crazy? Alright, so Temporal Mantle's gone. Let's try to get away from this guy. We don't want to be tremored. And there's a second KO. You can see that the KO ammo is real, real strong. We need to get this reload going. You can see I'm using my radial menu to uh, craft more ammo as we go. There we go. And watch this. Watch this fast reload. Chink! Very fast. Well, I mean much faster than the very slow, you know what I mean? It's technically a sl slow reload. Let's get another shot of this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. All right, let's get another Wyvern. He's about to hurt us. Cat's gonna give us a nice little heal here, so we're not too worried about that. Let's get away from that. All right, we'll do the sleep ammo now. All right, and he's going to sleep. Let's go ahead and bring out the Mega Barrel Bombs. He looks like he's already almost dead, doesn't he? Shoot, I don't want to kill him. Alright, and this Wyvern ammo, check out the damage on this Wyvern ammo on the wake up. It's going to be crazy. Boom! 976 damage from the large part of the hit. It also gets the small part of the hit, too. So we dealt over a thousand damage there. And this is why our Wyvern ammo is really important now in the... In the... I, I guess you would call it the new explosive damage meta? I, I don't know what I want to call it. <laughs> All I know is that you run out of cluster bomb ammo real fast. So this wyvern ammo is real nice. We now care about it. All right, he's trying to hurt us. Let's go ahead and have a max potion real fast. How hurt is he? His stamina bar, eh, his stamina bar looks pretty full actually. Now if you want to focus on damage, you probably just keep using this wyvern ammo to be honest. Like I said, I don't think the sticky ammo is doing so much. One thing I like about the Wyvern ammo is it causes the monster to stagger a lot. Alright, our rock steady's gone. What you gonna do? You gonna roll into me? Let's see, we just guard him. Easy. Go ahead and heal that up real fast. Uh, there's a oops. There's a paralysis toad over there. I wonder if we can proc that. We actually have paralysis ammo too. Ooh, I should be careful. Okay. Yeah, because I was pretty sure he was going to get paralyzed, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I might have been acting a little too early there. Alright, reload. i get away from all this. Alright, he's after my cat. Let's go ahead and load this wyvern ammo. So we don't have true shot. You don't have to use your wyvern ammo. Uh, we don't have true shot, we don't have focus, you know, 
but I, I just use it because it kind of conserves ammo a little bit. If you're not worried about conserving ammo, maybe you're just worried about damage, you don't have to use it. Man, we've been real lucky with that razor sharp. It proc twice there. Crazy. Let's go ahead and grab some rocks. You'll notice I didn't flint shot him. That's because I'm not thinking. <laughs> flint shot OP. You can see our temporal mantle already almost back. This is probably because of the tool specialist helping us out a little bit. Let's see if we can draw him up toward this wall. Come on over. All right, we'll just... Oh, did, we... did he turn around? Oh, look at that. Oh! That hurts. Let's go ahead and put this temporal mantle on now. Oh, I think we'll use wyvern ammo. We're going to wait for him to get close. He likes to throw his face on us, right? There we go. We got limited amount of ammo left on that. Let him smack us. We don't care. That should have tremored us, but we have tremor resist, actually. Kind of nice, if you think about it. Ah, there's a nice proc of spare shot. Just use that again right away. All right, we're running out of the wyvern ammo. There we go. Oof. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? And there goes temporal mint. Ooh. Now I guess we had one more jump of temporal. Good thing, too, huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> You gotta be careful with the sticky ammo because it auto reloads and one of the mistakes you can make is you can still be in the middle of that auto reload when the monster strikes you. So you have to take that into consideration with your shield. All right, he's going crazy. Ah, I just said that in fact. That's exactly what happened there, too. He he hit me while I was in the auto of reload. Let's go ahead and heal. Luckily, we got plenty of heals, luckily, so we're not too worried about that. He's got to be close to capture, though, right? We can test it out. Ooh, snap. Drink one. Drink two. Let's go ahead and test out our shock trap. Calm down, Oregon. And there he goes. He was in the capturable range. You can't always... It's kind of tricky to tell sometimes. You gotta tell by the stamina bar. He didn't have a school yet on the minimap, so I wasn't sure. Grab this real fast. Ooh, I hope we got the materials we wanted. We'll find out. <laughs> We gave the cat a sausage. And there it is. That's the material I wanted. That's the mantle. Woof. Con conflagrant, conflagrant sack? There we go. <laughs> Here it is. Uragon pallium. Pallium. I don't know how to pronounce it. We're going to use that to upgrade our offensive guard charm. All right. We'll just get through this. Offensive guard charm. Yeah. I can't wait to use that too on a charge blade. All right, so as you can see, explosive damage builds are alive and kicking. Let's go ahead and upgrade that offensive charm, and then, oh, not offensive charm, offensive guard charm. This is what I get for staying up late and working. Upgrade equipment. Here it is. Yes. <laughs> what do we need now, a shadow core or, huh? Ooh, I wonder where we get that from. All right, that's the end of the video. What did you guys think of the build? You like it? I like it. <laughs> I use it a lot. I thought the fight was actually pretty easy. Yeah, between the shield, being able to KO him very easily, actually. Uh, the sleep ammo, the paralysis ammo is on there. I didn't get to show you the paralysis ammo, but we have it paralysis too. And then, yeah, you're going to be relying on your cluster bombs and your wyvern ammo. You noticed I had to use all of my wyvern ammo and all of my cluster bombs in order to bring him down. 
So that's just kind of how it goes now. And that's why I considered this more valuable than the Devil Joe Heavy Bow Gun and the Azura Magdaros Heavy Bow Gun. It's because it has a faster reload on the Wyvern Ammo. And, you know, you're going to use all 10 shots of your Wyvern Ammo now. What? <laughs> How'd you like that thousand damage uh, wake up attack with the Wyvern Ammo? That was pretty crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. I want to thank you all for watching. Let's do the wave. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.